right? But what the students coming back from Costa Rica told me was, first of all, uh, one student told me she learned more Spanish in a week down there than she had in a couple of years as, of trying to pick it up on her own. Um, so the intensive language learning, even though it's just three weeks, I don't guarantee that anybody's going to come back fluent, but they will come back with a much better understanding of Spanish than they ever had before. It's very intensive teaching, they're very small groups, and the staff at the school is um, simply superlative. Here we are for our first lunch. <laughs> How's your lunch? What are you eating? Frijoles. Frijoles. <laughs> Muy bien, Claire. <laughs> Muy bien. Elin, ¿qué está comiendo para almorzar? Yo como el pescado y frijoles. Muy bien. We need to develop um, a, a multicultural consciousness in dealing with our clientele and in dealing with communities. Um, and the other reason I think that it's really important for social workers to consider um, international experience, whether it's Costa Rica or Mongolia or one of our other programs, is that it is a sure path to personal transformation that has a profound effect on professional development. People come back changed because they've uprooted themselves from their normal environment and they've put themselves, they've made themselves open and vulnerable in a whole new environment. And you know, the first week, sometimes people look a little shell-shocked, like, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? And then things start falling into place for them as they learn a bit more Spanish, as they get used to the customs of their new family, and they start learning a lot. And by the end of the second week, it's like, this is awesome. So the third week is there to kind of cement that experience for them. Um, my hope is that we'll continue to build on what we've done, that little by little social workers will be allowed to bring different kinds of activities um, and approaches to the kids that we will be working with. I hope little by little that we will build a, um, a component in which we deal with or interact with an indigenous community and that um, down the road two pieces we would like to see as you mentioned one would be the community intervention piece and the other piece is um, we'd like to develop a research collaboration with the Fulton Child Welfare.